Hello, Audra Lambert here, and I'm a realtor in good old Orange County, California. I received this marketing material from one of my competitors, who I do respect, she does a great job, but I disagreed with what she was suggesting as far as the best return on your investment when selling a house. And I got this little flyer here, we won't name names, but let's just go through a few of them because I think um, people are kind of overwhelmed with putting their house on the market right now because they feel like they have to make these huge investments to get top dollar. And I disagree. I think you make your house look really clean, you polish it, you put it in the best light, you declutter, right? You do things like that. But some of these items I'll go over and discuss. So the first one up on the, uh, the brochure here is landscaping. And I do think it's important to have good curb appeal, but we're not gonna go put a pool or major investments into the landscaping. It's just plants, let's pull out weeds, let's tear out dead, dead stuff. If the grass is dying, we put you know new sod or reseed it, but we're not gonna make a huge investment in that landscaping. The second one on this brochure is update kitchen appliances. And ah, no way, I mean, are you kidding? Do you know how expensive appliances are? <laughs> Now, if they're super dated and they're not working and the buttons and the things and the levers don't work, then yes, you're going to wanna replace it. But honestly, I wouldn't buy a brand spank a new one. I'd buy a refurbished model, something like that. Just remember, you're selling this house and I've never had a homeowner or a buyer actually come up to me and say, hey, Audra, I don't want that house because it doesn't have updated appliances. You, no, it's, no, no. They're, they're, they're looking at the location. They're looking at how the property feels, things like that. But just don't go buy updated appliances because you think you're gonna get a big return on your investment. I disagree. Uh, the next one is a new front door. What? New front door? First of all, that's super expensive. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, oh yeah, homeowner, let me tell you, you're gonna get a really good return on that investment if you go you know, replace that front door. Okay, that's ridiculous. You know, Paint the door, make sure it's in good working condition. Um, if it's fallen off the hinges, okay. But every door I've ever seen in my community does not need to be replaced. So I call, no, don't do that. You're wasting your money. The next one is windows. Okay, do you have any idea how expensive windows are to replace? And technically you need a permit to put windows in your property, unless you only maybe have one window because anything in my area over $500 needs a permit. So if your windows aren't working, obviously get them working. You know, like I have a broken window and a rock from the, you know, lawnmower guy hit the, anyway, replace broken windows. Of course do that but to go replace all your windows because you're gonna get a big return on your investment, no way. Once again, I've never had a buyer say, oh, that one has new, ho new windows, that house does, and so I I'm, not, I'm gonna buy that one instead of the one that I really like that has a better feel. Don't replace your windows if it's not necessary. Okay, the other one on the list is uh, flooring. Yeah, let's just go replace all of our flooring. Okay, guys, I don't mind you putting an investment in your house in an appreciating market. But if your flooring's reasonable, then you, you know, it's not horribly grungy or it's not broken or, you know, your carpet, maybe you can just clean it. But oftentimes when I'm looking at some of the carpet, like the stains just make the house look as if it's not well cared for. So you can buy some inexpensive carpet. I mean, do the lowest grade you can do that looks decent. New York carpets is who I always recommend people to. They have it in stock. They can install it pretty quickly. But just to go replace your flooring because you think you're gonna get a big return on your investment, uh, I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd be careful with that. Wouldn't recommend it. Okay, the next one is bathroom remodel. Okay, people, do you know how long it takes to remodel a bathroom? Like a long time. And if you're, you know, if there's some issues with your bathroom, then okay, maybe you fix it up. But for the most part, you know, you need to get your house on the market as soon as you possibly can. So most people think that doing a bathroom remodel is reasonably inexpensive. It's not, it's expensive. And then you start tearing stuff up and you start realizing that there's other issues like I don't know, mold issues or plumbing issues. It's just blah. So I would just tidy it up, right? So maybe replace a bathroom, you know, vanity top there. Maybe you paint the cabinets or maybe you paint the walls or put pretty towels on it. But I, you know, just to do a whole bathroom remodel, I don't know, man, that's a lot of expense. And once again, I don't think that you're gonna get your return on your investment. Once again, like wages are high, the products out there to do some of this stuff are extremely high. And then, you know, the values are starting to um, downturn a little bit. So give it a good wash, make it look nice. Let's not spend a crap load of money on stuff we're just not gonna get back. Doesn't make sense. Okay, the next one is fresh coat of paint. Okay, I do agree with that. And once again, white paint. White, 
no gray, no beige. I mean, you can do that, but white's pretty standard. And if you already have white or beige or something very neutral, then just make sure it's touched up. Okay, this next one is garage door replacement. What? <laughs> I'm laughing at this. I'm gonna go replace my garage door because I'm gonna get the really good return on my investment. Okay, no, <laughs> no. Make sure the garage door works. And if it's faded, paint it and make sure like everything's working. So if you have a garage door opener, make sure it's working properly. And if it's not, then replace it. But we're just not gonna go buy a whole brand new garage door. I mean, that's, that's just, no, I disagree. That's just my opinion. Okay, and the last one, which is my favorite, is add custom deck. What? <laughs> add a custom deck. I mean, yeah, you know, homeowner, everybody's been asking for a deck. In fact, in MLS, just so you guys know, there's not even like a really a checkbox to search for deck. I guess there sort of is. But anyway, my point though is, is that decks do not add square footage. It's tons of work and not even that, but once again, labor and materials are extremely high and good luck finding someone to put a custom deck on your property. And this is kind of silly, but I mean, why would you want to put a deck on a property that may not have a view, right? So in my backyard, for example, I don't have a view and I don't want to put a deck in my backyard or in my front yard because, you know, I got neighbors around, right? Anyway, the point of this whole video is when you're getting these marketing flyers, don't be discouraged. I just did a video on how to you know, prepare your house for sale in 2023, and we really need to watch our cash flow. So don't be discouraged. Your house is gonna sell if you decide to sell it. And you know, just make sure you put a little elbow grease into it, give it a good wash, make it sparkle, but we don't need to you know, break the bank to go put a custom deck on our <laughs> I still can't believe custom deck, oh my God. All right, that's it for me today. If you guys have any questions, please reach out to me, I'm happy to help. Mm -hmm.